All of a sudden, it feels like summertime as we stand in here with Kate Hayden, avian biologist, which means you deal with birds, mm -hmm. which is cool. Yep. Now, today we're going to deal with something that some folks may have never seen in the wild. We have them here in Kentucky, but it's called the barn owl. Tell us about this owl as opposed to others and why it's maybe something we've heard, but we haven't seen necessarily. Well, barn owls, um, you see them a lot on, on TV, but actually they're very rare in Kentucky. And so we keep a close eye on them here at KDFWR. Um, we're trying to figure out how to grow the population. Um, barn owls are nocturnal. They like to eat rodents, uh, mice and voles, and so they're really good to have on a farm. They nest in cavities. They used to nest a lot in hollow trees and, and rock shelters, but nowadays they also nest in any man-made structure that's appropriate for them, a barn, sometimes a shooting house or a, a hunting blind, um, old silos and things like that. What kind of space do they like? For nesting? Mm -hmm. um, anything high off the ground, they want to be out of the way of the raccoons. That's one of their major predators. Um, you know, the owl looks big, but it can fit into a very small space. You have captured some footage. to Show us some of the things that, that we're seeing here. The nesting season started off with the birds courting each other. And um, we found that both the male and female spent a lot of time in the nest box, and they would sometimes pass rodents or, or prey back and forth to each other. So, hey, baby, I got a gift for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, I guess, show each other how good they were at catching food. And then we found that the female laid seven eggs, which is wow. a good size amount of eggs. And uh, those eggs hatched just about a month ago. And since she laid so many eggs, she couldn't do that all in one day. You know, that's too much. And so she laid those eggs over the course of about a week and a half. And they also hatched over the course of about a week and a half. So we'll see one of these chicks is much bigger than the other chicks. Um, and we have, you know, all sizes in between uh, just because they all grow at different rates. So you've got some footage too, it's daylight, you see a little bit better, one's preening themselves, cleaning themselves and mm -hmm. chilling out and waiting for the daddy to come home and say, hey, look at me. Yep, and we can see everything they eat, which is interesting, lots of mice and voles, um, very proficient at catching rodents, they don't seem to eat much else, so. How did this whole process start? Did, did the landowner say, hey, we got these owls here, and then you went from that point? Well, this particular nest was reported by the landowner. Um, and uh, we just decided, you know, we wanted to know more about barn owls, and so we picked this nest because it was it was closer, it was an easy one for us to put the camera on. Now, so many people, they hear the, the hoo sounds. What's different about barn owls is they don't hoot, they screech. Now, can you tell us, can you make a noise like that? Uh, um, well, Come I can on, tell you that <laughs> it sounds like stepping on a cat's tail. I mean, it is not a pleasant sound, it's well, very listen, alarming. We just happen to have some right now. This is not you. Let's hear what they <laughs> actually sound like. Okay, that's pretty unusual. Yeah. Now, what have you learned so far um, uh, that maybe you didn't know before from observing these? Well, something really interesting that we learned after we started paying attention to them is that they nest year-round in Kentucky. Um, some of these barn owls will nest two or three times a year. Uh, they're just, you know, they're all about making families, barn owls are. And so as soon as they can get their first um, batch of young, independent, and flying on their own, they'll go ahead and start nesting again if it's a good year for prey. So why aren't we seeing more if they, if they lay that many eggs? Well, and that's the question. You know, they produce so many young, and so um, we should be seeing uh, the population grow. And we are seeing slow growth, but we'd like to see it go faster. And so that's why we're doing this research project. We're trying to find more nests and monitor them and understand what the problem is. Why isn't the population growing as fast as it should. So now that you know what they look like, if you see one, call Kate, 1-800-858-1549.